dear students in the previous class already we have discussed the syllabus of your fifth semester now in this today's topic we are going to find out the basic of pharmacology remember that this particular basic of pharmacology whenever we are going to find out then we should know from where this pharmacology is coming and on which motto this pharmacology is acting remember that prior to read that pharmacology or prior to study this pharmacology we should have some basic idea about our body or about our systems so what is this system let's start so i'll tell you the first and foremost the smallest part i should say that is the atom so lots of atoms are there so what it will happen these atoms are there in the atmosphere or in the nature these different types of atoms they will combine together and ultimately they will form the structure that is called as molecule so from the atoms we are going to find out that molecule so now this molecule different molecules we are having different types of molecules we are having okay so these particular molecules it may be different different structures or having different type of properties or having different type of characteristics so these ty different types of molecules they will combine together and ultimately from these we are going to get the first structure that is called as cell so now this you know what is cell cell is the structural and functional unit of our system we should say so this cell is having a structure the outer cellular membrane it will be there or cell wall it will be there in the case of different types of cell different structures will be there inside one nucleus will be there sometimes this nucleus will be multinucleated along with that we are having cytoplasm so these cells will combine together these cells will combine together as per their structure or as per they are from originated means from where they have originated by this way they will make a cluster or they will make a combination so if this particular combination is the forming of nothing other than tissue so what i told atoms are there these atoms will combine and it will form the molecule this molecule will produce our cell the living structure so these cells in different from they where they are originating so by depending on their source or by depending on their structures they will once again combine together and they will produce the tissue we are having different types of tissues in our body okay so these different types of tissues once again combine together and these tissues will form our what is this systems what is this systems we are in our body 10 11 systems are there sometimes if you are going to cardiovascular system along with him uh, our blood if you will tell together so this is uh, this will form your 10 systems if we separate out these two means cardiovascular system is a different system and blood is another different system then the uh, number it will come 11 better to read it as 11 so 11 systems are there these 11 systems are having 11 workouts or 11 types of performing so these particular all systems they will combine together and they will produce ultimately a united system this system is nothing but our body or nothing but our human body suppose here we are considering about HAP human anatomy and physiology then I am telling this body is human body so it is common for all the creatures all the structures they are in our kingdom most of the they are coming under this sequence this is the structural complex how they are forming them we can classify our total 11 system into three types 
one system one type of system that is called as intake of raw material intake of raw material and excrete out the waste excrete out the waste so what it is indicating intake of raw material means here you are intaking the raw material whatever the raw materials it is available in your total circumstances total in your atmosphere you are engulfing or you are digesting or you are intaking this particular raw material example i can take in our atmosphere mixture of air it is there not only oxygen is there that is the mixture of air you are taking this particular mixture of air from this a mixture of air you are only taking the oxygen which will be utilized for your body and the excess amount of carbon dioxide it will be expelled out so what is this meaning we are taking the raw material means mixture of air intake of raw material and excrete out the waste means that carbon dioxide and the unwanted gas which is not required for our respiratory system so example of this type is number one is respiratory system number two we can take this is the example is digestive system we are taking the food okay and we are taking it is going for the digestion after completion of the digestion the unwanted food products will excrete out from our body in the form of feces so this digestive system also coming under this type so one is respiratory system another one is digestive system you may take urinary system also why this urinary system we are taking the water intake of raw material means we are taking the water and excrete out the waste means we are excreting the urine okay so these all are coming this type of uh, group of system that is intake of raw material and excrete out waste if we are going to find out the second type of group that is called as <coughs> connecting connecting systems what are these connecting systems suppose example i will take you the hemopoietic system the best example hemopoietic system means it is comprising of blood what is this particular blood blood is a liquid connective tissue now this particular blood liquid connective tissue what it will happen in our body different parts are there different organs are there they always require nutrition and oxygen supply so this is going to provide by our blood so this blood will go they, they, it will supply the all over means our body demands it uh, the all over body demands so whether it is a energy demands or whether it is a gaseous demand whatever it may be or nutritious demand this is going to supply by the blood and whatever the waste product it will generate in this particular system it will be carried out by the blood and it will be thrown away so blood is nothing but a connecting system so here we can write down what is this blood first example next if you are going to take cardiovascular system or cvs or heart if you are going to discuss they are also heart what it is happening it is pumping the oxygenated blood it will go for the destination and the de deoxygenated blood once again it will go for the circulation so this particular circulation it is also a connecting system you can take the another one very best example that is the nervous system so this particular nervous system what it is happening suppose connecting i am telling you the very best example one mosquito has bitten on your hand this particular symbol it is going to your brain and immediately brain is processing that after that this particular signal it will come to your another hand and you will slap that mosquito okay or you will smash that mosquito whatever it may be so it's just a example i have taken so what it is happening the unwanted substance it is going to uh, hamper us immediately will come to know that the disturbing whatever the element is there how come we will come to know because of the nervous system brain will come to know and brain will give the indication to our another body parts or another any way to take the action 
Suppose a dog is running away towards you, definitely you will not stand over there. You have to run away. Who is giving this direction? Your brain is giving this direction. Your body, now you just run away. Otherwise, you may find out some of the danger. So these, all these things are coming under connective, connecting systems. Examples I have given. The next one you can find out that is, uh, that is called as survival and protection. The third group that is called as survival and protection. Okay. So this survival and protection, I can give you the very best example of this survival and protection is your, what is this? Your OCS system. Uh, uh, what is this OCS system? This is nothing but our the whatever the bones are present in our body. This is indicating that uh, bones we are having. That's why we are having the structure, exact structure. We are having the body structure. We can walk, we can stand, or we can move. If OCS system was not there, if our spinal cord is not developed, then what it will happen? We cannot even stand. So that's why this is the giving our the protection. Means uh, whatever the structure, uh, skeletal muscles are there, they are adhered with your skeleton. That's why our skeletal muscles are there. We are having bicep, triceps. So what it will happen? They will get uh, stronger and we can fight and we can protect ourselves. So next we can write down that muscular system. So muscular system also coming under survival and protection. And we can take another one uh, example is this reproductive system. So by this reproductive system, we are bringing our offspring and they will be there in the world or they will be there in the art. So take our genes to carry out our genes. So this is the total three examples we have taken. What is this? Osseous system, muscular system and uh, reproductive system. A few more are there. So I have given just three, three examples. So what it will happen? These three we have discussed. Number one means total our systems, 11 systems. We can classify into three types. What is this? Number one is intake of raw material and excrete out waste. Number two is uh, we have taken the connecting systems. And number three is the survival and protection. Okay. So these are the three types. So this is the very basic when we are going to find out the structural complexity. Then we are going to find out all these things. But uh, what is the reason for uh, understanding this? Because it is forming our body. It is forming our total body, which is nothing but a system. So when this system will be developed, if you are having any system, definitely this system will go for that is cause the disturbance. So whenever this disturbance will come, you have you have to rectify because we are the most developed uh, creature in the earth. So we have to take the particular precaution or we have to take uh, particular care when we are not fine. So if system is there, then there will be definitely some problem. Problems will come. So rectify this problem. We need the subject that is called as pharmacology. So this particular pharmacology, we are going to find out previous day also. I have taught you in pharmacology that pharmacology can be classified into two major classification I taught you so what is this that is the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics already we have discussed now in this pharmacology we have to go through some more detailed uh, means of what is this uh, examples or some types of subclasses which are going to uh, discuss around and among the pharmacology so first of all once again I told you previous day, if there is a competition, so what is this pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic which will come faster, then definitely you have to show what is this pharmacokinetic is the faster term. Okay, next the pharmacodynamic it will come. So if you are not ingesting the drug, definitely there is no question of getting the response. If you are not applying the drug, definitely there is no question of getting pain relief. 
so first you have to apply or first you have to ingest then only you will get the reaction or then only you will get the what the drug is showing action to your body then only you will come to know so first one if the, obviously when we are going to discuss about the pharmacology the first terminology it will come that is the pharmacokinetic followed by pharmacodynamic means the energy whatever the uh, power or energy it is having in the drugs by using that how this is producing the action in your body that is the dynamic and what is this kinetic already we have studied that is nothing but a d n e absorption distribution metabolism and excretion okay so this is already we have studied now some four five new terms we should know that what is the meaning of this particular terms so then only we can get directly entered to our exact syllabus remember that first term i would like to discuss with you that is called as clinical pharmacology clinical pharmacology so prior to that you should know this pharmacology when we are discussing i told you pharmacology means you are taking one drug it will produce the action it will go towards your body tomar body moddhe theke eta jabe giye ekta action dekhabe ebong sei action ta ke amra feel korte parbo we will uh, come to know lots of interactions will be there lots of side effects will be there adverse effects will be there so all these things will come under pharmacology so what is this clinical pharmacology so whenever a new drug it is coming to the market or not to the market a very new drug it is coming to a researcher that no this particular drug he is thinking that researcher is thinking this particular drug may be may have uh, a very good action so what it will happen he will apply this particular drug on different animals that is the rules of bioassay so what is this animal the minimum size of animal means the smaller animal has to be incorporated first followed by second animal third animal bigger animal bigger animal like that it will complete up to simpanji so whatever this study we are performing or the researcher is performing this is called as pre clinical pharmacology what it is called this is called as pre clinical pharmacology so whenever this will be over this will get means uh, suppose all the pre clinical levels you got a very good response then definitely what it will happen you have to move for move for this particular drug to study in the human beings that particular study it is called as clinical pharmacology so whenever you are studying that clinical pharmacology prior to coming to the clinical pharmacology another one term is there what i have not wrote here because that is not exactly coming to this particular topic so that is the pre clinical pharmacology so after completion of the pre clinical study you have to come to the clinical pharmacology in clinical pharmacology four different stages are there stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 so that is a different topic in different classes i will discuss about that okay so now in this clinical pharmacology you just remember no animals are involved here here only that is involved is what is this healthy volunteers what is this what it will happen that uh, healthy volunteers will come and they are going to whatever the new drugs is there so which is already proved by pre clinically this will be applied on that healthy volunteers and we are going to find out whether this is having the this is showing the action or not this is the clinical pharmacology remember that the next topic we should remember that is called as chemotherapy chemotherapy so remember that in pharmacology there is a general therapy and another one a common terms it will come regularly that is called as chemotherapy chemotherapy means suddenly we used to come a particular meaning that a patient is a cancer patient and they are taking a particular drug that is the chemotherapy but not actually that the meaning of chemotherapy is our body is a host in this particular host any of the stranger or unwanted particles 
or unwanted uh, microbacteriums it is coming to in your body so it is disturbing us then give a particular type of drug which will affect that unwanted portion or unwanted stranger or unwanted area or unwanted growth it will work on this area but not the host this is called as chemotherapy example i'll tell you suppose you are taking paracetamol it is working in your body so this is not this is uh, you should say this is a general therapy so but if you are thinking that we are taking an antibiotics what for we are using this antibiotics to kill the bacterium okay bacteria will be killed by using antibiotics so if you are taking antibiotics in your total body the functions means total body its action is very less but it is generally it is going to attack the unwanted bacteria which is attacking in your body this bacteria will be uh, on this bacteria this particular drug will produce the sidal effect or static effect whatever it may be it may be a bacteriostatic or it may be a bacteriocidal whatever it may be but remember that it is its target is to hamper or its target is our that unwanted bacteria not our body so same like that if in the cancer there is a overgrowth of a particular area some of the targeted drug we are giving which will go and it will uh, cause or seize that growth of this particular unwanted area but your rest of the portion will be mostly unaffected or definitely chemotherapeutic most of the drugs they are having side effects they are producing effects in our general body also that is unwanted and that is only side effect but their target is to hamper the unwanted area or unwanted the bacteria so this is called as chemotherapy okay so chemotherapy is also a therapy but here a particular specific drug by using a specific mechanism it is attacking the unwanted area or unwanted growth or unwanted any of the strangers or bacteria bacteria virus whatever it may be pathogens okay so this is about the chemotherapy next we should know another one type uh, another one terminology that is called as gene therapy what is this gene therapy this is little bit newer approach means gene therapy means here we are going to find out i means find out whatever the disease it is there and this disease is due to whatever the abnormalities in the genetical structure or gene means there are two base pairs at and gc so definitely there is a sequencing between the at gc and definitely there is a alteration on this sequencing in a particular area when we are going to bother about some of the diseases so if this alteration will be rectified definitely we are going to overcome that disease this is nothing but gene therapy okay and last the terminology i would like to discuss with you that is called as toxicology toxicology means here we are going to discuss about the poisonous substances means whatever the poisonous substances are there suppose by mistake or due to some um, suicidal attempt or due to uh, household or due to atmosphere or due to uh, working place this poisonous substance it will get ingested or inserted to your body then definitely it will cause the problems so how come we can handle this particular poison how come we can uh, overcounter this particular problem or um, uh, this situation that is called as toxicology if we are going to discuss about snake bite that is also uh, the snake venom we are giving to uh, means uh, what is this uh, combat this situation so if we are going to find out the heavy metals lead arsenic all these things it will go inside to your body immediately you have to take some of the measure and some some of them some of the causes we might have ingested some of the unwanted thing or poisonous things immediately we should take the charcoal because it is having the absorbing uh, capability so activated charcoal has to be ingested so all these study means what about the poisons how it is going to hamper our body and how we can overcome this situation this is a total study that is called as toxicology 
remember that these are the terminology this is very important when we are going to discuss about the pharmacology so the topics we have discussed one it is small small headings only we have discussed that is the uh, clinical pharmacology followed by preclinical pharmacology and uh, chemi chemotherapy next one we have discussed gene therapy and toxicology so in particular topic particular chapter uh, i am going to discuss i am going to discuss this particular topics in very detail so this was a very very basic things as uh, we should enter to the cardiovascular system in the next class because these are the basic rules or basic things we should know prior to enter to our uh, main syllabus okay i think all of you understood please go through this particular uh, topic uh, if uh, there is any problem please communicate with me and i will try to make it rectify okay have a nice